Hi, we'll be doing our electromagnetic spectrum notes today. So you should have your sheet out. If you don't have a printer, you can just write down the information, kind of use this as a guideline. So let's look at our information. So electromagnetic radiation is energy that travels through space in the form of waves. Remember waves uh, transport energy at different wavelengths and frequencies. So this does not need matter to move through. The spectrum varies in range, decreasing in wavelength and increasing in energy. So uh, shorter wavelengths have more energy, longer wavelengths have less energy. The spectrum is divided into seven regions, radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. So here's our sheet we're going to use. Um, ignore these two boxes. This was for an interactive version of this sheet and you were, they showed you which information to write down. So don't worry about those. We won't fill those in. Um, so as you go, your wavelengths increase in energy and decrease in wavelength. These are closer together. They have a shorter wavelength. These are further apart. They have a longer wavelength. So if you go this way, you increase wavelength, decrease energy. And if you remember from our formula, um, the speed of a wave equals wavelength times frequency. So wavelength and frequency are inversely related. So a shorter wavelength would have a higher frequency. And this is also the highest energy. So energy and frequency are directly related. Here's your higher energy, higher temperatures with higher energy, low energy, lower temperatures. So we can fill in these two arrows right here with that information. So you can pause and then fill that information in. Here's our gamma rays. We'll start at this end, our smallest wavelength or shortest wavelength. They have the most energy of any wave on the EM spectrum or electromagnetic spectrum. They're produced by the hottest objects in space and are produced on Earth by nuclear explosions. So we can get gamma rays if we have a nuclear explosion. It's about the size of atomic nuclei. So we can fill in that information here. You can draw a little picture representing the size. You can pause this and then move on when you're all set. X-rays are next. They are still high energy waves. They're not as high energy as gamma rays, but you know they can travel through us. That's how come we can use them for medical imaging, for airport security, you know, looking at the internal structures of objects. Okay, they're about the size of atoms. And these are their wavelengths in meters. So you can fill in your X-ray section about the size of atoms. You can draw a small picture. Ultraviolet is next as we head to the left. They're transmitted in waves from the sun. They commonly used, they are commonly used in tanning boots, but too much exposure can cause skin cancer. That's why we wear sunscreen. They're about the size of molecules. All right, so we can fill in ultraviolet, size of molecules, draw a picture. Here's our visible light region, light we can see with our own eyes. It ranges from red to violet. I don't know if you remember Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And a good way to remember the direction is the violet is next to the ultraviolet region and the red is next to the infrared region. So that means red light has a larger wavelength than uh, violet light. So that means if this is the shortest wavelength, this is the highest energy. So violet light has more energy than red light and the energy ranges throughout the colors. So if you wanted to compare yellow and blue, you would say blue has more energy than yellow. And so here's our visible light region about the size of protozoa. You can draw a little picture of those guys. Infrared are longer than visible light we can experience them as heat. You don't want infrared light on you too long. Um, they use, these are sometimes used in warmers in kitchens, some infrared light, they put the food under there. Um, night vision goggles pick up infrared light emitted by objects with heat. So we can't see in the dark, they can pick up the heat. Remote controls use infrared light that we use to turn on our TVs, etc. So here's our infrared light. It's about the size of the point on a pin. If we fill that in over here, 
and draw a little picture. So microwaves, radiation is commonly used to quickly cook food, but we can also use it for um, research of nearby galaxies. Microwaves are used for communications, voice, data, video, both analog and digital formats. Sorry about that. Um, and remote machinery switches, valves, and signals. So microwaves, uh, they say it's about the size of humans. I had drawn the honeybee. I put the honeybee in here, but the humans are going to be next. So it's kind of, I mean, they do range. There's, you know, they range in size. So you can draw that in. Um, and then last is radio waves uh, emitted by radio stations, giving us ability to listen to music. Radio waves are also emitted by stars and gases in space. Okay, they're about the size. They can range from buildings to humans. There's different variations of radio waves. Of course, this is a whole different, you know, it's a range. So there's not like one size fits all. And then here, let's review our vocabulary. So a wavelength, the distance from one crest of a wave to another, but really it's one successive point. So from here to here is a wavelength, from trough to trough is a wavelength. Okay. Our um, frequency is the number of waves in one interval. So this is a lower frequency. This has a higher frequency. There are more waves in this interval down here than there are up here. Um, so here's an example again. Here's our high frequency wave. Here's a low frequency wave. Low frequency has longer wavelengths. High frequency has shorter wavelengths. Um, your amplitude is the height of a wave. The technical, really more exact, is the distance from a crest or trough, uh, the maximum distance from the equilibrium point, let's say that. So you could measure it from um, the equilibrium point to the crest or the equilibrium point to the trough. Okay, so you can now fill in, here's an example I got from the, one of the colorful sheets. So we can fill in this information. We can fill in that bottom information. I'll get rid of that thing right there. So you can pause this and fill that info in, and then you can submit it in Classroom.